uh, a beginning which brings a new world order. You have uh, information exchange which will take place. It will create transparency. Ashish, thank you uh, for being here on, on this and it's a privilege to, to talk to you. So, uh, uh, we had a great panel and I just wanted to take it out from there. Uh, what, what do you think about this BEPS project and, and the conversations around value and substance? See, as a BEPS project, uh, I feel it's a great beginning. Firstly, it is the first of its kind project where you have both developed, developing countries, the countries which are, have residence, uh, primarily residence-based taxation and source countries, coming to a, a con convergence and uh, which is beneficial for both. First, and it really, it's a, a beginning which brings a new world order. You have uh, information exchange which will take place. It will create transparency and uh, Yes, some this transparency has its positive and negatives, but it will finally lead to a fair taxation. And to that extent, BEPS has been one of the great achievements which has happened. And uh, India being part an active participant uh, would definitely have many of its position being validated through BEPS. And uh, to that extent, the policy and tax administration stands vindicated in uh, that uh, manner. Uh, regarding value and substance, yes, uh, they are uh, certain terms or certain concepts which uh, are not capable of being defined in black and white. It would leave to a bit of gray area, but uh, I think over a period of time, with the information exchange taking place, a standardized positions would evolve. Uh, like any new order which comes, initial teething troubles would be there, but overall it would be a positive uh, thing which we have. Okay. So I think I, I, I agree with you that it will evolve and uh, it will be a role played by both the parties. Uh, but clearly uh, in terms of uh, taxpayers, uh, they would look at certainty because with all these interpretation issues which could continue to uh, hover over, over what is happening, uh, they would look at certainty. And, then, and uh, I've seen that uh, taxpayers have gone ahead and filed AP applications. We have 700 plus AP applications and I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you and your team for completing 100 plus. Uh, but there's still this uh, thing in the mind of the taxpayers that uh, with this small team, uh, with the 700 applications, how far will it go? Are industry experience considered uh, in, in terms of uh, finalizing the uh, positions for APA? And when bilateral is going to uh, take place, will it be fast or will it actually slow down the process? We want to give some guidance around uh, this particular program? Oh, uh, first, I, I accept your appreciation it it was it has been really a good work done by apa team so far uh, it's a new program people were not used to this kind of collaborative uh, approach so the systems were put in place so initial uh, yes uh, it's always takes time to build a system but once standard uh, process are there uh, number appears to be daunting if you compare with uh, the number which has been concluded. But uh, I think uh, we should not fear those numbers. The team is efficient, people are working hard uh, to achieve uh, the resolution of issues. And secondly, what is one distinctive feature which, has, which I could gather in this short time which I have joined this team is that many of uh, the numbers are of a similar nature. So you, the complex and differential uh, application may not be of this great number. So once the base has been uh, built, uh, that base would continue and uh, we, I, I on my, I'm optimistic of having a large uh, P, uh, APAs being resolved in, uh, within a year's time. And in any case, past also is an indicator that initial two years, the numbers were almost, it, it was a trickle, but now it's 103. And uh, by any international standard, this is uh, one of the best. So we should uh, have faith and I think so. 
uh, that uh, we will have a large number being resolved. So far as bilateral is concerned, uh, you would also appreciate it is not only India, uh, India's effort which uh, could lead to resolution, but it is almost you have to many times depend on the other countries uh, way also. So, uh, yes, uh, they are a bit, uh, it is beyond control of Indian tax authorities, but so far as unilateral APAs are concerned, I am quite optimistic with. Uh, Yes, a, additional resources would always uh, speed up, that is a given thing, but then the constraint, resource constraint and the bigger thing is having that much qualified people with a proper bent of mind to take forward this process is also equally relevant. So, let us hope uh, we would have both uh, people to help us and also to have. But then again, I would say ki that uh, we would have had a much more successful rate. Uh, some things I would like to say that uh, taxpayers also at many times have refrained from giving uh, proper information. Mm -hmm. And this is a program which uh, the core of it is on information base that you verify uh, particular things which happen. If you do not have the information itself coming forth, so that hampers and also it impacts basically the whole process in the sense ki the trust and patience are the two attributes of this. If uh, slowly the trust gets impacted, then the program also has it is a negative fallout on other things also that is the way it happens. It is well said I yeah. think trust and uh, uh, patience, patience is, is the key and I think uh, both parties play their role. We look for the next 100. So, thank you very much uh, Ashish ji. Thank you thank, very much. Thanks